Okay, this is an interesting problem, and this is one where you can solve it if you want to just multiply this out. 725,278 times 67,066, and you're going to spend about 10 minutes getting the answer, but then you can figure out that these 10 digits, 1, 2, 7, 3, 4, all the way up to 10, you can, well, add the last two, the tens and the units, and there's your answer. But you know what? The GRE is not testing that. They don't want to know, can you do multiplication? the old school method, so to speak, and get the answer. They want something else. They want to know, can you find a shortcut? And that's what they're testing, the analytical ability. So forget I even did this. What is the shortcut? Well, we want the tens digit and the units digit. That means the numbers that are to the farthest right. That is the last number and then the second from the right. So what if I just took 78 and 66, meaning if well, I guess we will go back to this one, meaning if I were to multiply this out, I could just instead take those two numbers right there, 70 and 66, and that wouldn't change anything because when you multiply this, everything starts going that way. That is the 6 multiplies out here, drops, then the 6 from here drops, and you'll have numbers coming in columns like this. So essentially, 78 times 66 is still going to get you the exact same tens and units digit. So it's 8 times 6 is 48, 7 times 6 42, part of the 4 is 468. Notice that if 6 times 78 is 468, well, 6 times 78 is also 468. Again, you're going to move these numbers over. So you're going to form a column here, a column here. And that's all you really need. And this is going to be 8. Just drop that straight down. 6 plus 8 is 14. And you don't have to worry about this other noise. It's pretty easy. 4 plus 8 is 12. That's what we're looking for, the units plus the tens digit. And there's our answer, which is 8.